here's your host, Alex Garrett. Ladies and gentlemen, you could have been anywhere in the world tonight, but you're here with us in New York City. Are you ready? Welcome inside Adapting with Alex Garrett. Oh, if the shoe fits, wear it. Let's adapt together right now. Hey, welcome inside to Alex Garrett Podcasting this Friday night, January 21st. Oh, it's been a busy week here, and the week just keeps on getting busier into the weekend. Uh, But, but I do want to end the week on something I've been trying to get to for a little bit now, and that is Bitcoin and sports. And how do I connect the two? Well, I, I pick up a lot of things, whether it's reading, whether it's scrolling through my phone, whether it's being on different shows I engineer for at AM 970 The Answer. Now, you know about Ion Real Estate because I've had Stephen Ebert, the legal eagle, on here. But I want to have you listen to what Ace Wanna Suparp, the senior VP and the national director of sales of Citizen Bank, Citizens Bank, had to say with Dottie Herman, the vice chair of Douglas Elliman, had to say about Bitcoin on iron real estate, which you can hear every Saturday, 10 to 12, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. As long as you're not hurting someone. So now, Ace, getting back to cyber currency, what is your opinion on that? Yes, Dottie. And and I appreciate uh, Stephen's feedback as well, because I, I do agree a lot with Stephen. But the fact of the matter is uh, cryptocurrency is not an alternative asset class anymore. It is an asset class, right? And there's huge adoption. Like, for example, the Open A's, which is a baseball team, they, they offer a six-person suite for the price of one Bitcoin. The Dallas Mavericks, Mark Cuban, who owns the Dallas Mavericks, he's really bullish on cryptocurrency. So not only will he allow Bitcoin payments, but you also get a discount on merchandising um, when you're paying that way. The Miami Dolphins, who's a, who is an NFL uh, team, is accepting both Bitcoin and Litecoin for their ticket prices. And Manhattan residents, Dottie, believe it or not, can use a local company called Block Party to buy concert tickets using Bitcoin. So what Stephen was mentioning is if you actually invest in Bitcoin and then sell Bitcoin, you have to pay on those capital gains. A lot of people, Dottie, are buying Bitcoin, not selling it, and using it as a payment form. And that's why you see so many athletes so many entertainers now are opting on their contracts to be paid so, in what? In Bitcoin, okay. right? So, okay. you know. so let me understand this, Ace. So what you're saying yeah. is if I buy Bitcoins, okay, and let's say I, they really appreciate it, I've made money on them. If I use my Bitcoins to pay something, like a bill or something, then I'm not selling them? I'm not paying the, the, the gain you're not, on it? You're not selling them? You're using it as as a fiscal currency, right? So let's just say you buy Bitcoin today. You believe it's going to go up, right? So it's an investment. Right. So you buy Bitcoin today, a, 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 a price of, let's say, a pack of gum. Let's just say it's fifty a dollar, for example, right? Bitcoin, you bought it at whatever, whatever ratio it is. If it goes up, you're still paying the same amount for the gum, right? Because they're going to they're gonna look at your Bitcoin to see what the value is dollar for dollar on that dollar. But if Bitcoin continues to go up, you've already invested in the asset that continues to go up, but you're still paying monetary um, prices for ticket prices, gum, food, whatever that is, right? And that's why a lot of, um, a lot of folks are going into this cryptocurrency space because there's a lot more vendors that are accepting crypto than the regular normal folks. Um, well, if, if you're not educated in this space, you won't know where to go to transfer those cryptocurrencies, you know? So, Well, you know, you should hear every week on Saturdays, uh, 10 to 12, because crypto has been a big conversation. And when I saw, and you know this, when I saw that the Staples Center was losing the naming rights, that Staples was losing their naming rights of decades-old tradition to crypto dot, uh, crypto dot com arena i said boy crypto is taken by storm eric adams the mayor of new york city 
I think he turned his paycheck into Bitcoin. I could be wrong on that, but I thought I read something like that. So it's taken storm. But if the Oakland A's, a baseball team, would accept a Bitcoin for a sweet purchase, then yeah, I would say, you want to sweeten this MLB lockout deal and get us unlocked? Is it time to throw in Bitcoin as an incentive? Look, a lot of teams are doing NFTs as well. The Islanders have done an NFT also. So crypto's gaining, Bitcoin's gaining, and I'm just trying to hold on to my cash as much as I can. Aren't you? But Ace has brought a, a different perspective to this on Iron Real Estate, and I hope the conversation keeps going because if more teams are making it amenable, then maybe we all have to be open-minded. By the way, that research was from Money Under 30. That's Money Under 30. The A's offer a six-person sweep for one Bitcoin price. Dallas Mavericks get a discount on merchandise when you pay using Bitcoin. And of course, as a guest of mine a while ago said, Beijing will be accepting only Bitcoin at the Olympics in the Winter Olympics. So it's here. We can try and hold on to our cold, hard cash as much as possible and our debit and credit in the bank account. But Bitcoin, the space is not only something you get educated on, it is here. It's a risk because I believe Bitcoin depends on the stock market, does it not? By the way, Ace is a senior VP of Citizen Bank. You know, the bank that uh, Citizen Bank, National, National Director of VP of Strategic Sales. So he's not just regional, he's national. And he is, uh, he's the man. And I trust him on this. I think he knows what he's talking about. But yes, I, I come on here this week to say crypto isn't going anywhere. So how do we adapt to it? How do we adapt to the rise and fall of Bitcoin? Should everybody start be needing it even to do certain processes that the American dollar just won't be used for anymore? Like apparently buying a suite for six people. One Bitcoin for that. It's so complicated, but I, I think I think that Ace breaks it down well. And I think the space is growing and expanding. And I think that it's just very cool how these sports teams are starting to evolve, adapt to this technology. Because they want to stay ahead of the game. Pun very intended, by the way. But they do. And the more Bitcoin becomes a thing, the more you and I, who like to maybe carry our cold hard cash, will have to dig in and, and start to look at this. Maybe take the risk. Because if there's two sports venues named after a crypto and an NFT a company, who knows what's next? Who knows what's next? But I, I feel like we can start changing the term bargaining chip to bargaining Bitcoin. What do you think? Especially when it comes to these lockout deals and you got to deal with that and deal with the bargaining chips that are what are at stake. And why is this conversation I'm interested in having with you right now is because on Monday... Major League Baseball and the Players Association and the owners are all going to come together to meet again to try and get this damn season, you know, started the spring training anyway. And who knows? Could Bitcoin be mentioned at the meeting on Monday? I don't know. There's not really much speculation on it, but if the A's are willing to do it, who else is willing to delve into this as a, as a, a franchise? The Mavericks are giving away discounts if you use Bitcoin for merchandise. Mark Cuban's pretty savvy, I would say, don't you think? There, uh, oh my God, there's just so much. There's just so much. 
And at least this one seems to be determined by the free market. I, I, I say that as a jab to Pelosi, who thinks the free market should be able to determine why a stock a congressman is hiding stocks. Free markets don't hide things. Don't make people hide. Free markets aren't the responsibility for the hiding. That's a human choice to withhold any kind of stock you you trade. But here it's kind of a a different industry. It's a, it's a it's a capitalistic yes, and it's a privatized industry. It feels like. So, before you know it, we might all have to be looking at Bitcoin as a way to do transactions. I never thought I'd see the day. I never thought I'd see the day. But that day might be here. And while Ace is so optimistic, and I love his optimism, I still worry about holding on to cold hard cash. Maybe I should bring him on here to convince uh, me otherwise. Hey, uh, you can listen again tomorrow, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. on AM 970, The Answer. And uh, feel free. Let's see how the discussion goes tomorrow. It's a very fascinating dynamic because even Steve Ebert in this conversation is wary about Bitcoin, the legal factors, whether states can make it legal or not. But at this point, if New York State's making betting legal, I can pretty much assure you they will not il make Bitcoin illegal. I, I can't see that happening. The two are just two hand in hand. But what will happen? Will we be end up being needing Metro cards to use uh, to buy? Will we end up needing to be buying Metro cards with Bitcoin? Is that a possibility? Is that a reality check that we're just learning about now? I'm only educating you because I feel like this is the wave of the future. And the wave of the future is something we have to adapt to. And if one baseball team can start utilizing and imagine if all 29 other teams started truly investing. I mean, the Dolphins also have become incorporating this, accepting both Bit and Litecoin for tickets and whatnot. I think I told you, I went to L.A. And they didn't ask, and I, when I asked for an ATM in Los Angeles at Dodger Stadium, they said, oh, that's only to put money into your car, into your bank account, so you can convert your cash to card because we're cashless now. And that, that, my friends, feels like the wave of the future. So get on board. It's maybe time to stop being a traditionalist and a realist here on Keeping Real with Alex Garrett that Bitcoin is here to stay. I'll have to see if I start investing in it myself. It sounds enticing, intriguing, adventurous. And you know what, Alex Garrett Podcasting, we're always up for a little adventure. Have a great night, everybody.